Hello, this is Geo Techland, and today I'll be talking about Zorin 15. So this is the latest version to the Zorin operating system. And this operating system is based on Ubuntu LTS 18.04.2. So the very first thing I want to show off here is the kernel you'll be using, which is so 4.18. And then for the Mesa drivers, you are using 18.2.8 so not quite the latest ones but I consider this OS to be more more for a workstation you typically only need the latest Mesa drivers and kernel usually if you have newer hardware so the very first thing I want to talk about here is the initial layout here to keep in mind this will be mostly a review of the theme or really just an overview of the theme and so from the perspective of someone using windows looking to try linux specifically this os so far so good right you get the same familiar windows 10 panel here and it doesn't bombard you with too much stuff too it's very simple there's only three icons here that you start with a browser folder and software center and this is obviously just obs here so when you open this up a very familiar Windows 10 feel and this is actually the GNOME um, an extension for GNOME I think it's called the Arc menu I still prefer Cinnamon's menu because it does feel more like Windows 10 and it's a bit more fluid because you just have to hover over them I don't really care for much of this little tab here I feel like this is just kind of a waste to be honest the apps that are pre-installed again very simple basic stuff you know the basic GIMP Photoshop type of program simple scan office the usual LibreOffice yeah videos VLC what I'm gonna go to now is the Zorin appearance manager this is probably the most important thing to look at here and first I'm gonna actually switch it to the dark theme because even though they're Their default layout or theme is actually nice looking. Even the folder icons are just right. Just it just fits well together. I still prefer the dark theme. And one of my first criticisms here though is that there's no names on this. I mean you can kind of guess that this is probably some weird mixture of light and day. And when you click on it, this gives you a clue turn on location services to change theme at sunrise and sunset so I just prefer to stay on the dark theme here and again the dark theme looks nice now you can see this here too and overall the theme itself is good and you can even change the accent colors here although I don't think these work well because it gives it this weird um, overlay Except for this one and the blue one apparently. So alright, moving on to the layout chooser. This is probably my favorite part of this OS. Deepin also has this sort of layout chooser. Again, I think this should be the default on most modern desktop environments for Linux. I do feel that they also need titles here too. This is a more Windows 10 like layout. This is more of a classic layout where, where you have these tabs here. And I'm not sure if this needs its own layout. I feel like this should be more of a setting that you can tweak. Because again, it's just like really one change. Everything else is the same. Now this one is interesting because at first I thought it was a gnome or more vanilla-ish gnome layout but this actually looks like it's a a tablet friendly layout or even mobile friendly layout and so obviously if you click here you see all the apps but this little panel stays like this or stays here doesn't disappear and what that tells me is that this screen or interface would be perfect for a tablet or a two-in-one like I have on my laptop so that's a very interesting way to go here and if you actually go to their website 
this is kind of giving you a clue as this is what it's meant to do. Well, that's interesting. Again, it still needs its own title. My only other criticism of this layout is that you you can only you can unlock a a Mac type layout only if you purchase like the the pro version of Zorin OS and I'll have more to say about that at the end of the video. But yes, um, if you want to tweak a little bit more things on the panel, you can do so here. So for more advanced stuff, so that's good. My only criticism of this modern layout is that by default, it won't actually hide this panel when you have a full screen. So this kind of stays like that, although you should be able to tweak it here. Auto hide. That would, and this actually doesn't work well actually. So it does disappear, but now it looks weird. So again, that's kind of my main criticism of this for now. Maybe this will be fixed in an update, but I don't think it should do that. <laughs> this theme and layout gets so many things right. It will make a lot of people going from Windows to Linux easier. I still have mixed feelings about the fact that it charges you for the pro version to unlock like even more layouts because I think that would be very useful and it would show a clear difference between Linux and Windows where Linux offers freedom and Windows offers whatever they want or whatever they think is best for you. If you build a PC and you're thinking of using either Windows or Linux and obviously the one thing that puts you off Windows is that to get an official or purchase the official version of Windows you got to pay like a hundred bucks but obviously you can go to some semi shady website and and buy a, a key for Windows for like $40. And this is why I prefer that Linux is free because there's already a lot of obstacles people have when they want to try Linux, you know, you know, not having the same apps and you don't need the price to be another barrier. Now, Zorin does have the free version, so it may not matter, but I still feel like all the layout options should be available for free, but, but hey, Zorin is trying things a little bit different so I can't blame them too much. One thing that I won't try in this video but I wanted to mention is Zorin Connect because this appears to be some sort of sync between your Android phone and I'm definitely going to check this out. Maybe I'll do a whole video about this experience because I think Zorin will be the my next OS or my default OS on my laptop based on that tablet friendly layout it looks like it's going to be very interesting to try it on there and then i'll try these apps and sync it with my android phone one other thing to mention even the website itself is really nice again first impressions matter a lot when people are making the jump from windows to linux so that's another kudos to zorin the zorin team other than that thank you guys for watching if you like this video don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.